Bobby Lopez here, PGA Pro, your golfing buddy, and QuickFixGolf.com. And I appreciate you taking the time to look at this. I hope you're going to believe it's worth it because you're going to learn something. And uh, this is uh, something that a lot of the guys are working on on tour right now. You're seeing all these pictures come up of pictures of players from the backside now. You didn't see that before. And why is that? Because they're realizing it's the base of the spine that you're rotating around that's going to give you the consistency. It's a single axis rotation on the base of the spine. That's what a golf swing is. And when you move from side to side, all you do is wobble. And uh, even though for years they might have told you, transfer your weight, you're going to find that's a bunch of baloney. And you're going to know right now. So watch this. Here's Bernhard Langer. Watch him on the right. He's going to take the club back. Now watch his head, watch his head, watch it, hello, it went backwards. Now, here's what we're trying to do, bottom line. What all of us are trying to do when we hit a golf ball so that it goes straight is to get the golf club and the tip of your left shoulder in a straight line. The club is not coming out of your nose. It's coming out of the tip of your left shoulder. This is a backhanded game. That's why the glove is on your left hand. It's a backhanded game. That's why you've heard all these stories for years of your left hand to play right hand, your right hand, that's a bunch of malarkey. I mean, you can do it, it's no big deal. But, bottom line is you're trying to get these clubs aligned. And in order to do that, you're going to have to keep your spine from moving laterally. Now watch what Bernhardt's going to do here, looking at him from the back. Watch, here he is. And look at the base of that spine right on that arrow as he goes through the ball. See? And it's still right there. As much as it may seem to you when you look at it from the front view, that you'll say, wait a minute, he's making this big lateral move to his left side. Oh yeah? Now watch. 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 Boom. He's going under. That's why I've always said, give me one of these young ladies that throws fast pitch underhand softball and I'll have her knocking the snot out of a golf ball in no time because they're used to going under. They're used to having the right shoulder down. Such as, let me show you this kid right here. Watch David Toms. Here he comes up. Now watch. Now watch. Here he goes. Wham. Look at his right shoulder. See? Underneath. Now, let's look at somebody else here. I've got some more. And what's really important is I know how to get you to do it. Now watch. Here we're going to do... Right here, the camera sort of moves some. Whoever took this picture. All right, now. Right there. Here we go. Back, now watch. See, that spine stays right there. And why? Because look where his head is. It's way back. Look how his arms are extended. No chicken wing for him. What does the chicken wing come from? The chicken wing comes from you moving laterally to your left foot too soon. Then you don't have any room. You got nowhere to go. I can get rid of that chicken wing. See? Look at that. Look how he stays behind it. Let's go back and look at David Toms again from the front view. And here he's doing this drill with a stick in his pants. Sort of stuck through his belt loops. And watch, he's going to go around, boom, boom. See how the club, as he gets here, watch, he turns, turns, look where he is, his head, way back here, and now the centrifugal force of the club pulls him forward, I'll show you an even better example here, watch this, watch this, here we go, now watch this kid, and what did I say we're going to look for? From the shoulder, tip of the shoulder to the ball at impact. Now watch, I'm going to draw a line right here. 
Here he goes. Para pen, para pom. Hello. There it is. Look at your head. Way back here. See that? See that? See how he stays back? Now watch. As he's hitting the ball, look how his head is going downward. It's not going forward because he's fighting, meaning his body. and his, he, his body is fighting to stay back that way and his club is pulling him out. They're actually working against each other, not with each other. And then that club pulls him. Look how much his arms are extended all the way up. If he were actually moving laterally and got his head over the ball, he'd be toes. He'd have a chicken wing. Let me show you one that's sort of an example. This is a, a Korean pro lady. I think it's Korean. I don't know. Watch this. Here she is. Now watch. See? See that lateral move? See that lateral move? Doesn't mean you can't play with that. Doesn't mean that you can't play some pretty good golf. But now, watch her hands. Va ba boom She's got to slam them over. And not only that, if you look at her at impact, you see all this Ed Sullivan look in her shoulder? She's all cramped up. That's because she's moved laterally too much. So now she hasn't got a shot. If I look at, I mean... I shouldn't say she hasn't got a shot. I just say she's got to she's got to slam those hands over so quick that she's at risk of either hitting a snap hook or bailing it out to the right. One of the two. And when you get under a lot of pressure, I'm sure once she gets in a two to Nassau. <laughs> All right, let's watch this right here. Here's another lady pro. I have no idea who this is. Look at this. Did you see where she is? That's one thing the lady pros do better than the guys in some cases. They really get over on the right side. And now watch, she's going to turn, right? Where's the club? Get ready, right? It just zip bias right there. Dip in the left shoulder. Look at her arms extend. No chicken wing for her. Now, let me show you a student we're working with right now who's a very fine young man, formerly from the U.S. Navy, retired. We owe him a big thank you. And he kills it. This kid has a lot of potential. I call him a kid. He's not a kid. He's a grown man. But when you get as old as I am, everybody's a kid. Now watch. See, whoops. Right there, he's in a great spot. But now watch what happens. Ah, he transfers his weight. Now he still kills the golf ball. Look, look, look at his angle right there. Look at that. See? Beautiful. One problem though. Because he's moved laterally, he has got to fire those hands, and I mean violently, in order to save the shot. And he's at risk of hitting a snap hook. Or he's at risk of not getting the hands there in time and bailing it out to the right. And that's frustrating because you can hit three really great shots and then all of a sudden you hit one that's crummy. But as you can see, he's not anywhere near as extended as Howell was. Let's put it right up against him here. That's because he's got nowhere to extend to. Because his body has moved laterally and is in the way. Here we go back to Chuck Howell. Ba ba bum, ba ba boom. Look at his arms. Look how far his hands are from his body. And with our student sample here, look how close they are. Because this body belonged behind this line. Gavish. Now. Here's the big question you're asking. Yeah, it's cute. Okay, I believe you. So I get rid of it. <laughs> well, there's a couple of ways. And I've got drills for this that will help you. You know, it, does, it doesn't hurt doing drills or hitting some balls just on your right foot. That won't hurt. Um, but here's the problem. If I assign a specific drill to you, it might be poison for you. See, it might not work for you. Where another one drill will work for one guy, it won't work for another. So really the best way to do this is for you to come in here. 
Let's look at your swing. Let's see what you're doing because everybody's got a different move. Here, here, I'll prove it to you. Here's Jim Furyk. Hello. Now, watch this. As much as they talk about where Jim Furyk takes all his arms and everything, I want you to see this. The base of that spine. Look how it's right on the plate. Look how he maintains his spine angle. Unbelievable. That the body is the camshaft of the engine and the camshaft has to turn in place. It can't go wobbling all over the place. So, get yourself out here. Let's take a look at your swing. See what you're doing. Slow it down on video just like this. It's only 39 bucks. You're getting $40 off, normally 79 And uh, you'll have the video to take home with you so that you can work on it and the right drills, the drills that are going to work for you, hopefully. Sometimes, you know, I might give somebody some medication and they get a rash. But then we switch the medication real quick and get it to work. All right? So give me a call, 378-7456. I will answer the phone myself. Personally, if I don't answer it, I'm probably in a lesson, but I will get back to you. Or come on out to quickfixgolf.com. You can get the lesson right online, and we have an online reservation system where you can book it right online. All right? Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned something. What do we need to do? We need to get the club and the tip of your left shoulder in a straight line. Bobby Lopez, your golfing buddy, signing off.